47. I just got back. It is 1 in the morning. I uh, opted this time to get a Supermoto. Last time I had a Jixer. You guys heard from me. I was working on it and I put, did put a lot of work into it. And right before the GoPro arrived, some lady decided she'd be nice enough to pull out in front of me. So uh, that bike was wrecked and I was a little bit messed up. But I've been looking around for something pretty much a little more versatile, a little more fun. Because my commutes aren't that long. Sorry, it's a little dark. It is one in the morning after all. Um, this bike was... I forgot where it was. It was on Craigslist? Yeah, Craigslist. Derp. Yeah, I'm really out of it. It was uh, two hours away. And he was asking, like... I think 5800 at first and 55 and I offered him 54 little things are wrong with it like uh, I doubt you can see that there it is it wasn't too bad it has been laid down unfortunately but none of the plastics were damaged up here the mirror a little bit of course into the shifter you can see that there it is the well, thing that matters down here is that this was pushed in and the cover has been dinged a little bit. Otherwise, I mean, nothing severely bad. Pretty much, I mean, not even the plastics are scratched up. They must have replaced them. This thing has an interesting story behind it. I adjust myself there. Um, uh, these scratches didn't even look at this, unfortunately. Oh, that's not that bad. Uh, just need some cleaning up. But, uh... Yeah, actually, had an interesting story behind it. The guy actually, uh, he works for a, I forgot what it was called. It wasn't a loan department or a, uh, the hell was the, what did he call it? Like prop department for movies and TV shows. And this was one of them. Uh, I guess it was on a show called Scorpions or Scorpion. Something about cars and bikes and stuff. I haven't really looked it up. I'm pretty sure if I find something I might put a link in the video, but forgive the closeness of the angle. It's I'm actually using my phone right now. I might be ordering a drift soon, depending. Uh but yeah, the selling point on this, I mean, 5400 bucks ain't bad for a 2014. But the selling point, where's my stuff? Selling point is here. It still has a tag on it. Look at that. Hilarious. It still has the lot number on it. This was the selling point. For me, anyways. Yep. 96.7 miles. <laughs> Stop binding, thank you. But yeah, went up and down the bike, absolutely nothing else is wrong or damaged. A little bit of a little bit of oil on the vapor canister, but just vapors can be cleaned up. Given this was for TV show and have been laid down, I'm assuming for those 94 miles might have been some harder in miles, but there's nothing wrong with a tough break in. But otherwise, this thing's pretty much factory <laughs> it's it really isn't that bad condition the chain let's see if you can see it I did write it a little bit it's a it's a little corroded there was a spot on the chain I don't know if where, it's, where it's moved to ah there it is look at that so this chain does need to be cleaned I wonder if it's still greased yeah, a little bit feels pretty dry to me yeah, definitely dry, definitely dirty. Bike just needs a good cleaning. But um, I'm selling another vehicle of mine. It's a Cummins 12 valve, and once that's sold, uh, this will be my only vehicle for a little while. I'm trying to save some money here and do other things. But some of that money will be used for the maybe the Drift Ghost, or if I so see fit, it might be a GoPro. I don't know yet. I haven't really looked at my benchmarks in quite some time. 
But uh, for now, I just want to kind of show the new bike. I will show in some better light sooner or later when I do have the time and it's been cleaned up. This camera can focus any day now. Thank you. But uh, yeah, I mean, I will be posting some videos later. Maybe I'll be putting some videos up a little bit of mods because I do have my Canon. I'm going to be doing the kicks kickstand kill switch. I'll be doing the edge two for the tail light, and I will be doing the shifter and brake levers, shorties, little shorty ones. So that's why the other one didn't bug me too much. I will be doing the uh, thumper covers for both sides of the case. Exhaust may come later. It's not really a priority right now. I just kind of want to clean the bike up. So, but all in all, I'm not going to complain. It's pretty good. It, I feel it was a fair price and maybe actually a pretty good deal on my part. But uh, until next time, this is Omega 47.